Whoa, 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 whoa. I know we just got into the introduction, but hey, do me one favor, y'all. Before I even do any talking, man, y'all better not skip this video, bruh. I made this video to show you guys the best build in NBA 2K20. Come on now. Who doesn't want to see the best build? I know it's not finished and all, but trust me, it's worth making. As you guys can see before I get into anything, I got 20, 20, 30, 30, and I'm 6'7", and I'm a shooting guard? I'm 6'7", and I'm a shooting guard, speed boosting point guard. Come on now. Who doesn't want this build? But hey, man, I'm done with the talking. Let's get into this video. Make sure you guys do me one huge favor. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe on this YouTube video. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Let's get it, Domo Gang. It's time to show you guys the best build in NBA 2K20. So as you guys want to, as you guys want to do, you guys want to make your position a shooting guard. It doesn't matter what hand you go with, and it doesn't matter what jersey number you go with. Now let's go to next. Now the pie chart you guys want to go with. You guys are probably like, hmm, I don't even know what pie chart to go with with this build. Well, what you guys want to go with is the yellow and red pie chart it's playmaking and defensive so it's going to be a defensive playmaking build i know you have a 67 three-pointer but let me talk to you guys let me show you guys something let me break it down to you okay so look y'all just pay close attention so the, the uh, physical profile you guys want to go with make sure you guys go with the first one it's the best one to go with i promise you i wouldn't lie you got a 95 speed it's going to drop a little bit but just watch y'all watch the magic trick all right, make sure y'all play close attention. So what you want to put your shot close to, you want to put your shot close to a 84. You want to put, you want to put your driving dunk, max it out. You'll have an 82 driving dunk. Your driving dunk, your, oh, I mean your driving layup, make sure it's an 82. Your driving dunk, max that out. And don't touch your standing dunk or your post dunk. You'll have 10 finishing, that's all you need. All right, now your mid-range, your mid-range shot, you want to max that out. Your three pointer, you want to max that out. Your free throw, you want to max that out. And your post hook, you want to put it to a 70. Your pass accuracy, a 88. Your ball handling, a 85. Your post hook to a 58. Make sure you put this to it. I'm going to just fast forward this for y'all a little bit. Let's get it. 
put this max this out your steel make sure you max that out put it to 84 exactly and max your your defensive rebounding out so what your badges should look like they look like 10 10 20 and 18 this is the best the best version you're going to get out of this build honestly you could you could take some of your defensive off if you really want to and get more finishing but honestly all you really need is 10 finishing and i'm gonna show you guys why the body type it really doesn't matter i went with define i'm tired of my player looking so bulky and clothes and just ugly so what i went with was define it's the best body type and it makes your player look good while on the court your height all right look y'all this is the trick right here a lot of people would be like why don't i go six six five with this build if you go six five why don't you just make a two-way playmaking slasher you get what i'm saying so with the build you want to go with with this you want to go six seven y'all you're gonna be a big dog bro you got a 65 three-pointer but bro these clips man you're going you see me going crazy in the clips look green like bro i'm telling you you're gonna be the goat bro i promise you now your your weight this is where it gets very tricky at y'all because you don't want to put the wrong type of weight so the weight you guys want to go with you want to put it kind of low and kind of high at the same time so what i went with was 210 is the best way to go with honestly trust me on this or you can go the lowest weight it doesn't really matter it all depends on you guys to be honest so we're just gonna go with the lowest as of right now 180 in your in your wingspan you want to go with you don't want to go with the highest because it drops your three two, three pointer too much and you don't want to go to lowest because it drops it too much so the perfect one to go with is just in the middle just go with in the middle you don't want you don't want small arms you're not gonna get no rebounds no contest or anything so what you want to go with is 83.8 and now the takeover you want to choose you can choose slasher slasher is a great takeover to go with but in my opinion, I think playmaking's the best if you want to have fun taking ankles and you just won't run out of energy with this badge. So go with playmaking. And boom, as you guys can see, we built a facilitating finisher. And I tell you guys, this build right here is something dangerous. I promise you guys, I wouldn't lie to you guys, I promise. I promise. All right, now let me give you the badges I prefer you to use on this build. These are highly recommended, but you don't have to use these. These are what I what I personally use. So I'm gonna just give you what I personally use. So for my finishing badges, what I want you guys to go with is contact finisher on gold. Slithery finisher on gold also, because these two main badges right here will give you the most contact dunks on, these, on this build. These two badges right here, if you guys don't know already, are the most important, are the most important badges when you're trying to dunk the ball on other defenders. And the other badges you want to go with is fancy footwork on gold and consistent fi consistent finisher on, on bronze. All right, now let me give you the badges I prefer you to use on this build. These are highly recommended, but you don't have to use these. These are what I what I personally use. So I'm gonna just give you what I personally use. So for my finishing badges, what I want you guys to go with is contact finisher on gold, slithery finisher on gold, also because these two main badges right here will give you the most contact dunks on these on this build these two badges right here if you guys don't know already are the most important are the most important badges when you're trying to dunk the ball on other defenders and the other badges you want to go with is fancy footwork on gold and consistent consistent finisher on, on bronze and now the shooting badges you guys want to go with you guys want to go with quick draw on silver range extender on gold green machine on silver clutch shooter on bronze that's honestly all you need guys to be real with you but the other badge you guys do want to use is hot zone hunter on gold this is the best shooting layout you're going to get with 10 shooting badges i promise you these badges right here will make you shoot consistent with this build i promise and the reason why i say that is because you you probably are wondering Dama, why don't you need green machine higher the reason why you don't need green machine higher is because green machine on bronze is good enough it's good enough if you're not a legend if you're a legend clearly you're going to put the badge up but if you're not a legend go with bronze and hot zone hunter you're going to be able to shoot you're going to have a higher percent shot in your hot zones if you get what i'm saying that's why you want hot zone hunter on the and now your playmaking badges what i want you guys to go with is quick first step hall of fame handles for days hall of fame unpluckable on gold ankle breaker on bronze Bailout on Hall of Fame and Floor General Hall of Fame. 
this is the best layout you're going to go with playmaking clearly you only get 20 playmaking you guys are probably are wondering down but will i be able to get ankle breakers yes you'll get ankle breakers with bronze ankle breaker because as you guys know i did make you guys choose playmaking takeover and playmaking takeover is all you need to catch an ankle break and lastly you guys the defensive badges what i want you guys to go with this hall of fame clamps what hall of fame clamps does it helps you bump your defender and, and it helps them pick the ball up so if you do have it on gold or hall of fame they both do work the same but i just prefer hall of fame since you have hall of fame badges and what this badge does is it does make him pick the ball up I promise intimidator make sure you guys put that on gold so when centers go with the ball you will make him miss every time since you're six seven and since you have intimidator on gold you only need rim protector on since you have intimidator or hall of fame i meant my, i'm sorry for that y'all then you only need rim protector on gold and then the other badge you want to run is chase down artist on silver pogo stick on gold rebound chaser on bronze and pickpocket on bronze now look y'all look if you guys are playing twos i repeat if you guys are playing twos and you're playing the one and you have another position behind you playing the two you take pogo off and you put pick dodger on gold you don't need it on hall of fame they do both work the same hall of fame and gold so just make sure you put it on gold but if you are playing threes or you're just isoing and you have a rebound to wing put pogo stick on gold and that's it y'all that's that's the badges you guys want to go with if you guys do need a basic jumper to go with make sure you go with 38 38 or 38 or Dwayne Wade 38 or Dwayne Wade or yeah just go with them two bases they are the best bases to go with and hey man let me let me know if you guys like this video once again if you guys have any any questions let me know in the comment section below i will answer all your guys' questions i promise i hope you guys did enjoy this video hey man y'all boys enjoy the rest of your day it's your boy damo and i'm out y'all peace Fair. Gang, back up.